So here is my next project. Is a spad. World War One fight plane. Very nice model. On one hundred forty eight scale. Uh, one sorry, one twenty eight scale this time. I've actually built one of these before. Um take a bit more time on this one I think. Definitely gonna use my airbrush on this one. Let's have a look inside. So this is the inside. Um some of the bits are off the sprue. They don't actually come on a proper sprue, just bits like this. You get a load of men because you can make well he looks like half a man, but the other half of him is there. He's holding the propeller and spinning it to start the engine. Which you can make like a little diorama out of this one. It's a nice model when this one's built, but when it comes in like this, it's a bit flimsy. Hopefully everything's there. This is the, uh, the string that goes in between the wings, the rope that goes in between the rings. The rings, the wings, I'll talk properly. So yeah, not too many parts, quite fiddly when you, you start to do these rope bits, but if you've done properly, they look lovely. So I shall be starting this. Put your shader decals. Lovely and big. Very colourful. And the instruction book. In service since the summer of 1916, the French Spad 12, uh, 7, sorry, armed with a single machine gun. If you want to read that, that's there. Hundred and thirty five mile an hour. <clears throat> There's the old instructions. Do the engine nice, but then when you put it in the actual plane, you can't see it, so I may have a look if there's any hatches that I can cut and open up so you can see it. Alright, so I've put together the engine. Put it there. And do I've done a little bit of filling which I've got to sand down. Sand down in some of it but I've got to do a little bit more. Um I'm gonna add my own little bit of detail in there, a few more wires, a few more like pipes and stuff. I'm gonna use just a bit of wire, a bit of copper, strip it back and uh put it in there, spray it up and uh yeah, add some more detail in it. Um, this model needs a lot of <coughs> filling. I thought I just want to have a go at putting one of the men together. Excuse my hands, by the way. It's covered in filler because this guy needed one hell of a lot of filling. He's the pilot. He's got his arm up to call to the guy to start the engine that's what he's doing but he also had a lot of holes in him sanded him down this smiley chap isn't he but I've sanded him down um, I'll primer him hopefully that will get rid of a bit more of those gaps I'll, I might give it another little sand down I have sanded it down but when you look at it through the camera, it looks worse, so I shall do it again. And yeah, I'll add some more detail, so I'll come back and show you the detail that I've added afterwards. But I do want to make it so that you can see the engine, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I'm not sure how and if you'll be able to see it. So, But surely they wouldn't make you put all this engine together and never be able to see it, I just don't get that. But there's a... Okay, there you go. I'll give it a little bit more sanding down. 
and then uh, I'll add the detail. See, this is rather annoying. <clears throat> so this is the exhaust that goes on the side of the plane, but um, actual mould lines are in. You can see it. Where they inject the mould in is actually in dented into the actual exhaust. That's the other side. I've had to well, I've got to sand that bit down on the back, but it's there as well. Unless I sand it down, and then it looks like that. As you can see, where it's indented in. They've got little imperfections like that. I mean, this model is just full of needing to be filled. Um, really, this model should come with a pot of filler. But oh well, we'll carry on. So there you go, there's some of the body together. Took a lot of sanding down. Get it to that and for it to fit nicely, the exhaust on. Just give it a little wipe down, wash down after to make sure I've got any excess glue off of there. But this one's coming together a lot nicer. Make sure that all the old edges are off and Sand it down nicely. So yeah, I do like this model. Apart from the men in it, because they are a pain. I just added a couple of little bit of extra detailing on the old engine. Um, I don't think you're going to see it really, so... Yeah. Uh, I'll give it a primer and then um, we'll paint it up. I say though, I don't think you're going to see it because it goes in there like that and then you cover it up but I don't know if there's a panel I can maybe that panel on the top there uh, maybe that one I might be able to open up just so you can see it inside I mean it's sitting next to the gum I might do that have the figures next to it so yeah see where we go with it so I've got the body together. I've put some green stuff, liquid green stuff. If you've not heard of this stuff, it is from Games Workshop, Citadel. Basically, it fills very small gaps and you can paint it on with a paintbrush. It's not too bad. I mean, that's a tiny little gap there. Just got to let that dry there and let it dry under here and I'll sand it down just to stop them little gaps there. I've got the supports for the ailerons or whatever, and the exhaust on. Filled that little bit there. You can't see that, there you go. And that don't look it, but when it's sprayed it will. It should be a bit better. Um, cockpit is underway. Oops. This needs a lot of work, these parts do. A lot of sanding down. There was a big, um, like where they pumped the resin in to make the part, it was on the front instead of the back. Like, why didn't they put it on the back? That there is going to have a transfer or decal put on it, but see the little resin marks there and there as well. But yeah, that's the cockpit. Um, obviously I've shown you the engine, I did a little bit of detail, I'll just put some green stuff in there and I'll clean that up, sand it down, just so it looks a bit better. I know it don't really make sense, but when you look at pictures of the actual SPAD engine online, it's got pipes and stuff everywhere, and there's a main one that goes across 
there and from this middle bit over to here but I thought nah I did try and do that but the pieces that I was putting on weren't really sticking so I drilled little holes out as you can see I put a bit more filler in there so it looks a bit neater and sand it down and then I've sorted this man out a bit more he doesn't actually fit very well when he goes in there slot him in but as you can see he don't exactly fit in between the seat so sort him out a bit more so he sits there that's about it at the moment and then I'm gonna go and prime these bits up because I've got to do I've got prime these bits up there because they need a lot of string put through them and then put on the wings so if I primer these bits up and paint them to what they need to be and while I'm at it and also this bit here needs string on the back of the tail through these little holes through that hole but I need to wait for this green stuff to dry sand it down spray the model up and then I'll put them on uh, yeah once I've uh, painted the model, I'll put the string on. I don't want to put the string on before I paint the model. Because I'll paint the string. And then, yeah, it's just the wings going on. The engine, I still want to look at this bit, this little vent. Where are we looking here? Oops, on the next page. The little vents, if I can open it so you can actually see the engine. It would be nice to see the engine, otherwise, what's the point of putting that lovely little V8 or V12 engine in there? Look at this V8, it's got four cylinders at inside, so it's a V8 engine. And it's shaped like a V. So there you go. Right, let's get a bit more done. Right, so I have primed most parts up, like the old engine, which looks slightly better. My hands are all primed as well, so I can paint them up. Yeah, so there's the engine. Um, obviously, I've primed up the little man because he's got to go in first. The canopy, parts of the engine, and the top. This is where I was going to cut away, but it's not really possible. Not with ease, anyway. And uh, yeah, there's the wings as well. I've sanded it down a little bit again just to get any blemishes from the primer off. Um, yeah, after all this, you're not even going to see this engine, so... Oh, well. Good bit of practice, so... Yep, yeah, I will carry this on. Um, I've got to paint all this up, because I've got to put string through these bits here. Uh, these bits are what go on the wing, like that. And then the other wing goes on top of it. There's four of them. Um, I've also done the canopy, and... Another part of the plane. You can see the wing. Oh, one wing goes on the bottom there. Oops. Another wing on the top. So, yeah, it's coming along. So, I've painted a little inside bit. Uh, obviously, the cockpit. You won't see any of that bit there. You'll just see that, really. Giving it a gloss and uh, tried to make it look woody but pretty hard when it's just plastic the dials on there but you can't really see them they're not very well molded either so it's pretty hard just got to do a bit of highlighting go over it all again I might try and paint the little dials on if I can Sprayed up just the underside of the wings and the underside of the plane. Just done around with a bit of dark paint just to pick out some bits. Done the string on the bit that goes in between the wing, the little struts. Painted the pilot. It wanted me to paint his um, uniform basically that colour, but 
I didn't like that, so I looked up what colour the pilot's uniforms are, and it's that, so. Alright, so, so far, I have painted it up, um, which was the biggest pain in the world. I've just got to sort that little bit of grey out. But um, there's just so many different colours on this, it's crazy. And then it, it asks you for ochre colour. I mean, that's the ochre colour I have, but on the box, or ochre, however you say it, on the box it's more greeny, but oh, it's just going to stay like that now. That I quite like that, it looks nice, it'll be nice when it's all together. Um, strings on the wings I've done. They look a bit loose, but when you put the top wing on, it'll pull that apart and straighten them up a bit more. So, yep, they're done and glued down. Um, I finished the cockpit part so far. It's just glossed. The engine is done. Even though you, you won't see the engine really, but there you go. That's done. So. Just got to put it together now, really. There's only a few more bits to do. Alright, so I've got most of the strings on. Got the old engine in. Just got to do a little bit of painting here and there, right on the wheels. Um, underneath is pretty much done. I've, I wanted to do a few little like patches like it's been repaired and stuff like that but that string's got to go in the bottom of there that one that's hanging down and there's another one that's hanging down that goes in there but i'm not going to do that until i put the top ring on because then i can tension it all i've put the pilot in he's not glued in though but he's in there and the engine's in again i mean it's like they made this nice engine but as soon as you put the old top on Obviously that's not on properly, but you know what I mean, when that's on properly, it won't be seen, so it's a shame really. Maybe a way of making it so you can see it, but oh well, I know it's in there. Alright, she's finally done. I've put a bit of weathering on her, all her transfers on, and I'll tell you, the transfers that go around these bits are totally pointless. I got them there and they are so hard to get around that tiny little like bar that I ended up you just just paint them on. It's just easier to paint them because they're just black strips, that's all they are. So, so yeah I like having a bit of weathering on it. Um like the plane's been used. I will paint the other guys but not at the moment. I mean the gun's got smoke around it and stuff like that. Pillar. Dirt. I mean these things land in fields all the time so I've dirtied up the bottom of them like they've landed in fields all the time and stuff like that. Smoke coming out of the exhaust, that's what that is. Um, it's a hard model to make, very hard, especially doing all these strings. They are extremely hard but once it's done it's a nice model. And put all transfers inside the cockpit because you don't see it, you just can't see in there, so it's just no point. I mean, you've got that lovely engine in there that I've painted up and added some bits to it, but there's just no way of getting in there to see it. So I don't know why they do things like that, but I suppose if you want to keep the engine out next to the plane or something like that, you can. Just put it on like a little display or something, but yeah, there you go, that's the spad. Does the propeller move? I can't even remember. Ever so slightly. I will not twist it too much because it will probably break. So these bits are not straight here as you can see because when you put the wing down if it ain't straight inside there then it's just not going to be straight. The rest of them are right though but I don't mind. That'll do. I'll tell you what one I went for as well. These are the decals for Spad 13 S7799 First Lieutenant Long, 93rd Aero Squadron, 3rd Pursuit Group United States Air Service, France, October 1918 That's what that is and You've got the little 
serial numbers on there as well. So, yeah, a nice plane, lovely looking plane. I like it. I like my little pilot as well. He's not actually glued in there, but there's he? there he is. Excuse the dirty hands, that's from the weathering powder, but yeah. I will paint the other guys up because I otherwise he's just waving to no one. There's supposed to be a guy standing on the front here um, turning the engine on. But oh well, I'll do them. I'll make a little diorama out of it one day and it'll all look a lot nicer. So there you go. There is the spad. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.